Hi, Lonnie Vaughn with Emotiva Audio here. Have you ever wondered how the signal from a turntable or a music streamer goes through a preamp or maybe a processor down to an amplifier and off to a speaker and it actually comes out as that luscious music that we actually let, love to enjoy? Well, you're in the right place because in this series of videos, what we're going to do is dig into the gear. We're going to talk a little deeper about how it works, what it does, and how best to get the most out of it. Now, in this one video right here, we're just going to do a basic whirlwind overview of how a system works. And that'll get you started so that in subsequent videos, we can dig deeper into each one. And there's no better place to start than at the source. Now, a source is any device where the music originates from. That can be a turntable, that can be a music streamer, that can be your cell phone, your computer, whatever. If that's where the music is actually coming from, that's your source. Now there's two basic sources. There's analog and digital. Now a turntable is a great example of an analog source. The music that's pressed into the album is done in the analog realm, which basically means that the grooves in the album represent, when an electrical signal goes through, represent exactly what those analog impulses are that we listen to. Now on the flip side, by contrast, you've got digital sources, music streaming, things like that, and it's a much more efficient way of compressing and sending data, and those are nothing more than just a long stream of ones and zeros, okay? Now we can't, li we can't actually hear digital audio, that has to be converted back to analog, because that's what we hear in, but we'll get into that later. Now, we go from our source to our preamp. Now, a preamp, if you think about it in its simplest terms, is nothing more than a switch to allow you to select which source you're gonna use. It allows you to control the volume. And if you're sending digital, say from a music streamer, then it converts all those ones and zeros back to analog for you. From the preamp, we're gonna go down to our amplifier. Now, an amp. A lot of misconceptions about an amp, in its basic terms, it's a multiplier. It simply takes the signal, a low level signal from here, and it boosts it up. It doesn't have any intelligence, it doesn't know the difference between noise or music or anything else, it's just a multiplier. So we go from our preamp down to our amp, it's going to kick the signal up, and that's going to go to our speakers. Now. A speaker is an electromechanical device. Now, what do I mean by that? It means that you can send an electrical signal in, and by nature of how a speaker works, it converts it to mechanical motion. Think about it like this. Do you remember when you were a kid, and you'd play with magnets, and you had two bar magnets, and you'd turn them the right way, and they'd pull together, or you'd turn it the other way, and they'd push apart? That's the basic theory of how every speaker works. Here's what you got. You got your cone. That's actually going to be the piston that creates the air pressure uh, waves. Attached to the bottom of the cone is a coil of wire, just an electromagnet. But that coil of wire is actually setting inside of a solid magnet. So it works on the same principle. When the boosted signal from an amplifier goes into a speaker, it causes a reaction just like the magnets to move the cone up and down, and that creates pressure waves coming out of the front of this that our ears perceive as sound. So there you go. There's your basic setup. Start at the source, goes to your preamp where you can select what you want, down to the amplifier, off to your speakers, they recreate it back into mo uh, mechanical energy. We hear it and we enjoy it. Well, I hope, you, I hope this gives you a good overview of what's going on. Stay tuned for more to come, and uh, happy listening.